your mark. Get ready, set, go. Start. Kelly's here. Wow. Zell is here. Perfect. Gaming. That's amazing. <laughs> Arana was supposed to be working somewhere around here. My hope of finding Leet rested on convincing her to grant me the travel waiver. Okay. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Beyond a Steel Sky with Kelly and Zelle. Welcome back, everybody. So last time we ventured off to the Aspiration booth and uh, Aspiration Museum where Joey was. Hey, we got our old pal Joey back. We put him into a vacuum cleaner droid, and he helped us figure out where E1594 is. Call this? And now we're going through well, to find a way for the that sector for the industrial area. But on the other hand, to move on. Later than I expected. Are you being profound? He wishes. I'm sorry. Please ignore my droid. Is there a problem? Yes, there is. We're in the midst of a disaster. A meltdown. Somehow a bird got in and made a total mess. And the official cleaning team is indisposed. On today of all days. I, P4RT, have been delegated to resolve this issue. For your own well-being, I invite you to call me T. T. I hereby subdelegate the task of cleaning this area to you and your droid. Actually, I'm just here to speak with Officer Orana. Can you tell me where she is? Officer Orana is occupied in the control room right now, not to be disturbed. In fact, she's even locked the elevator. Not that is any business of a cleaner. Maybe we can start with cleaning the control room. The control room demands a top-of-the-range cleaning team. And I very much doubt that rust bucket is up to the job. Hey, this isn't rust. These are janitorial scars of honor. Ooh. Maybe old school, but he gets the job done. Either way, you're going nowhere till this whole area is spotless. You won't be disappointed. Right, Joey? Spotless <laughs> is my middle name, Foster. You will remember, of course, to uphold all ministry regulations. Cleaners must be uniformed and accompanied by a cleaning droid. Okay. I'm right here, you know. Yes and will be expected to be silent. Kindly remember your place. Please return when everything is in order. T was a stickler for the rules. To have any chance of getting that travel waiver for Arana, I would have to play along. Okay. So I think we have to go home and change. Bossy tin can. <laughs> it's just walking away by itself. I'm not even doing anything. Oh. Okay, so, yep, we probably, we probably have to go home and change. To our cleaning uniform. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have a uniform. Yeah. <laughs> we got the robot, we see the uniform now. Yeah. See, it's stuff like this that is okay to Welcome, understand Citizen and to Graham. get. Uh, Would you like to go? But some of the other ones are... Take me to my apartment. Certainly, Citizen Graham. A little harder to solve or to get the puzzles involved you know but otherwise it's actually pretty fun for a point-and-click adventure game Graham Grundy the GG more like good game <laughs> GG get away to the industrial area yep for Morana what was the tin can's name I don't Heart. remember. It's like P4RT. T. They that, seem nice. T is the one we were talking to. Oh, T. Oh, is that part of a group? Oh, it must be part of a group. It's a cleaning group. Reach upstairs, Joey. Sucker. Chips worth? Oh yeah, check out these. These uniforms. This is better. Ooh. I could make anything look good. I'd say. <laughs> Damn, Foster. <laughs> hey, Joey. What's up, Foster? 
Where do you think we need to go next? Were you obsessed with getting that teddy bear from the recycling plant? Let's talk later, Joey. <laughs> okay, Foster. We know where we're going. And I don't think if we like don't interact with them and say certain phrases, I don't think we're gonna miss anything. Based upon his health thing too, Excuse I assume. Me, <laughs> Get a load of this guy. Hello, Chipworth. Master Graham, what a pleasure. Foster, you're not going to introduce me to your new pal? Joey, this is my butler, Chipworth. Greetings, Joey. What a pleasure it is to finally meet one of Master Graham's acquaintances. Acquaintance? I'm his best friend. Well, then we <laughs> are equals. Ooh. You do the Aspiration Gala. How are you, Chipworth? I am well, sir. Thank you for inquiring. What's this about a celebration tonight? The Aspiration Day Gala? Madam Songbird is so looking forward to it. It has populated approximately 83% of our conversations. In fact, any time someone spoke of it, your heart rate would elevate and you would perspire, sir, heavily. Is that why Graham left? Is Sir referring to himself? Or a friend also named Graham? Do I have any friends? <laughs> sir. <laughs> uh, okay then. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> I'd like to hear more about Songbird. May I suggest that Sir speaks with the lady directly? Or perhaps check her social media presence. That's how Madam has traditionally spoken to you. Oh. What do you know about the Home Crescent Recycling Center? Is that a threat, sir? No, no, <laughs> of course not, Chipworth. Uh, may I get, sir, another drink? I don't remember you getting me a first one. Perhaps a pillow, sir? This guy's a real sucker. Coming from the vacuum cleaner? Ooh, get it? Ah. Goodbye, Chipworth. Have a very special day, sir. Oh, thank you, Chipsworth. Ask him if the refrigerator is running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty good, actually. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything else here, Kelly. Please, Foster, don't start doing anything organic in here, okay? <laughs> this thing was built with a sense of smell. The smell of mini cake is bad enough already. Well, Excuse me, please? Worse. The <laughs> <laughs> smell of mini -kay is bad enough. Oh, it's so bad, the mini -kays. Oh, I had for lunch are everywhere. Oh, God. The spankles. They weren't enough to quench my thirst. I have a thirst for... Adventure! Well, I've been with one of the five... Uh, council members. I wonder if we'll meet the other ones when we go through the game here, too. Foster. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Let's go back to the aspiration, the aspiration platform. platform. Of course, Citizen Graham. I thought the Piazza the and the Aspiration Platform were the same thing. To aspire to aspire. Don't forget to aspire to aspire. And if this goes off the rails, you're dead. But don't worry. You're A-OK -okay in my book. Citizen Graham Grundy. Well, now we can start cleaning, so that's good. Ah, T. So I see. Excellent. You have your uniform. Oh, still the same droid, huh? Shame. On second thoughts, your droid 
does look rather antique. Are you sure it's up to the task? This thing has a name. Don't worry. We're thrilled to be here and ready to work hard. Good. Waiting for you has already set my schedule back. So trust me, I'm thrilled to see you too. I shall be supervising the area preparations, should you require me. Unless there was anything else. Um. Uh... Vermin, P4RT. Do you have a problem uh... with vermin? Ah, uh, yes. Gang gangs are attracted to our beautiful flora, but then create a dreadful mess. Those nasty creatures must not be allowed to ruin the Aspiration Gala. How can they be stopped? Our fearless vermin robot will make sure they don't get anywhere near the tree. Oh. Tell me something about yourself, T. I live by a simple motto. Cleanliness is next to joeyness. <laughs> <laughs> Catching. <laughs> I could deal with the bird for you. Absolutely not. The vermin robot is in complete control, and you're on cleaning duty. I really need to speak okay. to Officer Orana. Officer Orana is busy with preparations for the gala. She has given specific instructions not to be disturbed. Are you sure that room doesn't need cleaning, too? We won't disturb her, I promise. No way. I'm still waiting to be impressed by your cleaning down here. If I was going to get to Orana, I'd need to prove to T that Joey and I were up to the task. Okay. Wow, this place sure is a mess. Joey, would you mind tidying up around here? We'll need to impress that droid if we want permission to speak to Arana. Excuse me? Do I look like a cleaning droid? You look exactly like a cleaning droid, Joey. Yeah, well, appearances are deceptive. Look, I know you're not a real cleaning droid, just like I'm not the real Graham Grundy. Oh, so I should... Pretend to clean up the area? No, I mean <laughs> actually clean up the area. <laughs> really, Foster? Must I? Yes, and look like you're enjoying it. Okay, but you owe me. <laughs> With the beanie? Absolutely. Come on, Joey, give it a good suck. There we go. Whoa. Joey. Can you handle all this cleaning by yourself? No way. We're supposed to be working together. We are. I find the mess, you clean the mess. <laughs> I'm beginning to question this arrangement. <laughs> I'm liking this arrangement. A powerful spray was drenching the tree and everything around it. An empty bird's nest had been built in the heart of the tree. Oh. Empty bird's nest, you say. Bird droppings. Joey, oh. could you... Yes, yes, clean the whole area up. I get it. It looks like the leaves and bird droppings are the same thing. Some old bunting had been left in the tree. Cleaning that up would surely impress D. Bunting? What's bunting? I don't know what bunting is. Oh, you're talking about like, the display, like the threads? You see that? Like the hanging material? I don't know, maybe we could get one of the vermin droids to clean it for us or something? I would assume? Joey, old pal. What's up? Think you could do some more cleaning? Oh, Foster, I would love to. Sadly, I don't see anything that needs to be cleaned. That droid is very particular. Yes, a particularly massive pain in the... Joey! <laughs> so long. Uh... Thanks for all the... <laughs> Memories? I was going to say, riveting conversation. Maybe talk to the droid now that we cleaned the leaves. Is there anything else to clean, maybe? Mm -hmm. so we 
can do it on that, which is great. Can we not talk to the droid anymore? I guess we can, okay. Vermin warning. Like, where are the birds coming from? I hear them, but I don't see them. Someone should really clean this thing up. Oh, wait. Well, is it up to bird nests? Uh, they might be flying around. Because I hear them, but I don't see them. Keep that water away from my circuit board. Refill level, percent clean interior, exterior. Yeah, let's try that actually. Yeah, look around a little bit more to see what, if there's anything else to interact with. There's the vermin droid. Don't see quite the birds. Oh, there we go. Hello there. How can I assist in your cleaning? How am I doing? You want me to review your performance? The ground yes. here is reasonably clear. Does that mean you'll unlock the elevator for us? And allow some incompetent droid to run riot in the control room? I think not. I think he's talking about you, Foster. Our cleaning skills weren't making enough of an impression. Okay. I needed something big. Something striking to clean if I was to impress the droid. Okay. So, yeah. We either have to clear the birds out or clear the bunting or whatever that is there, too. An intercom system connected to the control room above. For some reason, Arana had locked down the elevator. Hmm. Oh, a control box. It was a hand scanner. Sprinkler controls. Did you see that? Is that what that did? Yeah, look at it again. It says sprinkler controls. I think you turned them back on? I can't quite tell. If you do it again, I think it turns it off, actually. An intercom system connected to the control room above. Intercom disabled. I'd have to get her attention another way. Mm. Oh, I see. It controls the ones around the tree. Mm -hmm. There, I think it stopped because the sound went away, I'm assuming. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming too. We can't toss anything. We have to use one of the droids, I imagine, to uh, to do something. Oh my God! Okay. Sprinkler control room. Set flow rate 100 percent. Finger control sim, refill base, and I think the other ones are the robots. You want to change the refill station to zero for the hundred, the second one? So take the zero below that and swap it with the far left one. You mean the one on the left side? Yeah. Okay. I think that was the one we changed, so this is another one, I think. It's daytime, clean exterior, interior. So you can swap that one if you want. Oh wait, could you swap both of them so they both say clean interior, exterior, no matter what? Yeah, hit apply. One of those 
robot. Some old bunting had been left in the tree. Cleaning that up would surely impress D. Yeah, but how do I get to it? Do we have to do those, something like the vermin droid or something? A powerful spray was drenching the tree and everything around it. So did she turn on the sprinklers again once we turned it off? I guess... Try to turn them off and see if she goes over to the turn them on, I guess. Advert. <laughs> Cleaning versus aspiration day. So I think she does come look at see if she changes it. She doesn't. Maybe if you put the 100% back and set the flow rate to zero. So change the top one where it says a set flow rate with the refill level on the left. Because that will swap the 100. No. No. To the top one. I'm thinking. This? Yeah. You want to swap that one with the, the set flow rate, the 100% the top one over there. Because we swapped the other one previously. So this is one we haven't done yet before. Where's the gang Here's the bird. The bird. Ah, lure. Got some tasty treats for you. <sighs> okay. Hmm. So do we have to disable the robot? If you're stuck, just look at a hint. Let's clean up a mess. Find something in the environment that might do this for you. If we could throw the mini key towards the tree. Oh, yeah, that would make sense, right? Where? Is, oh, is he flying around? Is it him? Yeah. Hey, having a little treat. Oh, do we have to do that while he's there? Hey! Oh, the droid robot! No! No, stop it! You're making a mess! Do we preserve us? What are we to do? <laughs> this alien invasion is a disaster. Look at the mess! Citizen Graham, to work! Hey, at least the bird's gone, right? That's pretty impressive. The vermin? The vermin is gone, but behold this! This looks like a war zone! To work! To work! Remember, <laughs> cleanliness is next to joeyness. Yes, that's always been my motto. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, more cleaning. Joey, could you... Yes, yes, clean the whole area up. I get it. You got it, Joey. Maybe he'll just clean everything up if we just do it once. Can you pull down the... Oh, 
fallen, burning, bunting. Can we just pull it? Oh, did Joey, I guess? The fallen bunting had thrown T into a real state. Joey, let's show this droid your true talent. Get to work on that bunting. With pleasure. Oh, yeah, with that bunting, buddy. You know, Foster, I think I'm starting to get the hang of... Uh, the bunting's tangled in my brushes. My motor! I think my motor is on fire! Foster, oh, my God. I'm too young and talented to die! Wow! Quick, Joey, stop dropping! Look, stop and drop! Hurry! <laughs> What's going on down there? Oh! I thought this platform was supposed to be... Officer Arana, I'm so sorry. The cleaning unit I was sent have proved to be wholly inadequate. The cleaning unit? Hello? Not what I'd had in mind, <laughs> but my strategy had worked all the same. Yes. Yeah. I asked Arana about a travel waiver. Arana, just the person I wanted to see. Graham Grundy, what on earth are you doing here? I wanted to ask you about something. So I came down here hoping I'd find you. And you decided to get my attention by setting fire to this droid? A happy accident. <laughs> I'm sure that T will clear this all up in good time. I'd better get on with my duties. Of course. Hey, listen, before you go... Ooh, you're uh, at the recycling center. I was hoping you could get me access to the recycling center in the upper level. Area code E1594. On the industrial level. I'm afraid that zone is prohibited, unless you have a travel waiver. I know. Do you think you could authorize one for me? Why would you want to go to there? It isn't safe for civilians. It's about the missing child I told you about. I've been following some clues and... Shouldn't that be reported to the appropriate ministry? I've tried that, but no one seems to care. I don't know. This is all very... You've got to help me, please. Okay, I'll authorize your travel waiver, but yes. be careful. Assertiveness really. Thank you, Arana. Does there. it for us. I should get back to work. Keep a smile on your face. And if you don't, I'll At be last, there. I had the waiver I needed. Next stop, Home Crescent Recycling Center. What about yeah. Joey? Poor guy. So Come on, help a brother out here. Do we have to take the Joey Joey board? I think just to take the board out. He, he looks pretty, uh... Don't worry, pal. I've got you. Oh, my goodness. Just gotta pull this... Ouch. Be careful. <laughs> Alright. So, how's it going? Hello there, I'd love to see your droid. Oh, and I always hope... <laughs> Is he talking even though we took the board out? Yeah. <laughs> the droid shell was on fire. Quite a safety hazard. That's funny. <laughs> Just like a chicken when you cut its head off, he keeps going around and doing something. Alright. Alright. Well, we have the trouble we were near. I think we can get there with the monopod now. Yeah. And find this elite person. Maybe he's elite. Or maybe he was deleted. <laughs> ah, zing. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Take me to the Home Crescent Recycling Center. Heck Travel yeah. waiver accepted. Are you sure you want me to transport you to the industrial level? Yes, yes, I'm sure. No one has ever asked me to take them up there before. Mind <laughs> how you go, Citizen Graham. So then how did Citizen Graham get up there if he didn't use this? I'm sure he works somewhere else. He doesn't work there specifically. Oh. Remember the train, car, rails kind of thing? Oh, yeah, you're right. So you probably, you think I transport by a train there? It's like dropped off or something, maybe? I'm sure his workplace is somewhere else. It's not the same location. Uh, it could be. What if it wasn't? I mean, what if it was? The recycling center was located high in the city's industrial level. The place was filthy, noisy, and smelled terrible. 
Yeah, that's what I feel like. Wow. Well, everyone, we'll stop here, and we'll see you next time. I'm Kelly. And I'm Zelly. And we'll see you next time, when we go into the industrial area that we have access to to find Leet. See you there. Bye-bye! Bye. Just happen.